Good morning. I'm Charles Davenport, your interim minister of visitation. And today I want to talk to you about the fall gardening process. I'm by no means a master gardener, and some of you are. But when fall comes, I love to plant pansies and bulbs. I've got my gardening hat, my gardening sweatshirt, and some tools that I use for my fall gardening. And most importantly, a bulb. What I do in the fall is I plant the bulbs under the pansies so in the spring the tulips come up through the pansies for a marvelous display. Bulbs are very interesting. They're kind of ugly. They're kind of gnarly and onion-like. But when you put them in the bottom of the pot and they're nurtured by the sun and the water, they come up and they produce a beautiful tulip, in this case, a red tulip. The Bible talks a lot about plants and gardening and seeds. In the Old Testament, there are always stories about planting harvest and the farmers that left the room for widows and orphans to gleam at the end of the field. In the New Testament, there is Jesus who talks about sowing, seeds. And in the Gospel of John, the 13th chapter, Jesus, right before his Last Supper discourse, talks to his disciples about his death and resurrection. He says, lest a seed be planted, lest a seed die, it will not grow and produce much fruit. Paul, when he talks to the Corinthian church, who have a great concern about the next world, Paul says we are sown corruptible and raised incorruptible. The seed is planted in the ground and nurtured by the sun and the water and the soil. And then it produces something totally different looking from the seed. The bulb is gnarly, it's onion-like, and doesn't look much like a tulip. But in the spring, it bursts forth and reminds us of the resurrection and the good news of the gospel. In this fall season, as things are dying, as leaves are falling off the trees, and as our plants have to be brought inside to keep them from freezing, be encouraged. Be encouraged that things need a time of solace and darkness. But the good news is that those things that are planted underground will one day sprout and see the goodness of the sun. And so it is with us. Death is our planting and our resurrection comes in new life with Jesus Christ. In that find gracious hope for the living of our days. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for examples in nature that teach us about your resurrection power. In the season of fall when things die, Allow us to remember the good news of the resurrection, that in the bub indeed there is a promise. In your name we pray. Amen.